Yo, what's up guys, Aiden here. Today we're gonna have a look at Melsic Bagdasarian. Yes, I managed to pronounce it, I think. Hope you're all doing right today. It's a good day today. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Hope you guys are feeling it as well. Hope you're all doing all right. We're gonna be jumping in here with Melsic Bagsa. Well, Melsic, we're gonna be jumping in with my man Melsic here, who is a kickboxer, Muay Thai fighter, and he's got a boxing record as well. He started off with karate actually, so I might have got it. Like, I'm just reading off the bio from Wikipedia. So he started with karate, and then he went to kickboxing, he did some kickboxing and then now he's fighting in the UFC. He has a professional boxing record as well. And uh, yeah, this is my version of him. Hope you're all doing all right today. Keep suggestions coming. I'm gonna have some more MMA guys lined up next. So we've got two more MMA guys coming up in the next uploads. And then after that, we got some, uh, what's it called? What are them guys called? Uh, Alvin Colina and them lot. They're gonna be coming up after that. And then I'm gonna have a look at some boxes again. Maybe Devin Haney, a couple others as well. And uh, Usyk as well, seeing as his fight's coming up soon. Hope you're all doing all right, man. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for all the support and love as always. And all the criticisms as well. I appreciate it, man. It keeps me on my toes as well. So thank you everyone for all your comments and support. Body 16 for this one. And then number, head number and all the rest of it. Let's jump into it now. So for the eyes, we've got dark brown. And then we've got face template number five and then follow the sliders as you see on the screen to get the same results as mine. And yeah, speaking of the wiki, let's have a little read of it. So his early career started in 2014, with an MMA career, and then he waited until 2019 for his next one. Then he got a four fight knockout streak, cumulative fight time of 62 seconds, raw, okay. So yeah, he's made, uh, he's made a lot of noise over in the UFC, starting off with Dana White's contender series number 31, facing Dennis Buzukcha. Won by unanimous decision, signed with the UFC in 2021. And then, yeah, he's been fighting ever since with his last fight being last summer in 2023. And he was supposed to fight in December, uh, sorry, February 2024, but he didn't quite make that one. But yeah, his record looking pretty solid. He is on a eight fight, 10 out of 10 matches. He's eight and two with a pretty solid winning streak. And then, yeah, he lost by a decision, but then before, and then after that, he come back with a, uh, the submission he lost by a submission and he come back with a decision win so yeah he's looking pretty solid his kickboxing record as well is pretty solid he's, he's, he's done all right so in a professional boxing he's got three wins so yeah he's definitely an up-and-comer worth keeping an eye on angel and demons number two we're going to be doing for the tattoos and whatnot so it's going to be one at the top of the head and then just yeah i'll try and try and multitask it i want to read a bit more about this guy man let's, let's see what else he's got going on so his early career started training karate at six years old before transitioning to kickboxing and then later Muay Thai spent most of his career at the Glendale Fighting Club. Oh yeah, so that was it, yeah. He was um former Wu Lin Feng international champion. I think that must be over in China. And that's like a kickboxing organization. So yeah, that's pretty sick. Matter of pride, and he won by third round rockout. It's held at time by children. I can't read today, but yeah. Sounds good, man. So yeah, keep your suggestions coming. I'll keep making the caps, and I'm gonna try and read a bit about their bios as well, just to get a little bit more clued up on who's who I'm actually making as well. So yeah, if you look up this guy on Google Images and stuff, you can see he's got a lot of flashy kicks. It looks like he's yeah, he looks like he's pretty clued up on uh, the kickboxing side of things. So let's see if he can get that BJJ trained up as well, which you know he can do that. He's only oh, he's 32 actually. He's got he's got a bit of age on him. Okay, well still in MMA years, that's that's not too old. So let's see what he's gonna do with his career. Thanks so much for the support as always for the style. I'm going to say finish it off with Stephen Wonderboy Thompson to give him that kickboxer style. Catch you guys next one. I'm Aiden and I'm out of here. Peace. Have a good day.